Master, um, I remember a while ago in SMC retreat, Master saying something like, Master's level is so high now that Maya cannot touch Master just mm. through the disciples or the assistants around you that mm. cause trouble for Master. Um, mm. But it seems now that Maya is able to disturb Master's retreat and meditation, making it difficult for Master, or was it always like this, or is it recent? Recent, more recent. If so, what happened now that Maya is able to disturb Master's retreat? Yeah, I'm also taken by surprise. Because the more disciples I have, sometimes they have different heavy karma. Recently, we have a lot more and more uh, initiation. Yes, Master. More than ever before. Before, there's never a the big number like 400, 700, something like that, 800. And now it's not an unusual thing, okay? Yes, yes, Master. And most of so-called disciples, they came from so-called lower consciousness area of the world. And they still uh, contacted or worship uh, like local god or some ghosts or some demons in their local environment to heal sickness or to ask for favors, stuff like that. So when they come, they're full of garbage. And even after they got initiation, if they don't meditate diligently, they just come in and just want some uh, favor or uh, health or benefit or whatever, then these kind of demons and their ex-friend demons or, or local ghosts or, or goblins still can trouble them. And then the master has very hard time to always take care of all this. Because these are some lower consciousness uh, area of the world, their consciousness is already low, and they burden with all these kind of uh, invisible goblins or, or, or ghost energy, and it's harder to take care fast. And then the master sometimes have to bear these consequences. Yes. So the Maya we use this kind of uh, weakness. Uh, time to come and, and trouble the master like a leaking roof. That also uh, related to another question uh, you asked why I cannot tell you uh, anything new about the new realms that I have uh, accessed and passed through. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma it is because I cannot just tell you everything. Many things I wanted to tell you, but number one, it's not necessary for you to know. Number two, it is the Maya hear it and then he will make trouble. Mm. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma I understand. Even just recently, huh, some months ago, during these few months, I even just disclosed a little bit about peace-related process details. And the Maya said, that will cost me 10% of my own peace from now, wow. from that, because of that. So one time, and then just recently even, because that cost something, you see? Yes, Master. So they can disturb my peace. It's lucky that they won't disturb world peace, and that I don't care, okay? As long as the world peace is not disturbed or lessened, then I don't care. Because I reveal some of the info to you, and of course then the world also know how world peace comes about. Even if I did not plan in advance to reveal some of that, just some very small part, not even directly or not even... Uh, big, not the whole part, and it still cost me 10% of my own peace. Wow. That's one of the reasons why the Maya can also disturb me, apart from having a large number of disciples come at, at the same time, at one time. Yes. Yes. They can disturb me directly even, no need to go through any of assistant or disciple that day. Wow. They even sent directly to me the disturbance through an entity called he even had a name. Oh. <laughs> he had a title called Peace Frightener. Wow. wow. Means frightening you, scaring you. So his wow. name, his title is called Peace Frightener. Even has a title, oh my God. Wow. And that entity manifests his power that rattle the lock chain of my door. Oh. It, oh. As if somebody is trying to break the chain and mess it up with the chain, trying to break in. And he was roaring outside my door like a lion, like the sounds of many lions. It's incomprehensible what he was saying. It's just roaring sound. Wow. Yes. Like, oh, oh, like that, okay? Yes. But bigger, bigger, stronger, like a loudspeaker. And then it cannot get in the house 
So it sent uh, some kind of flow of oppressive energy, dark and oppressive energy, through my door oh. and to kind of trying to pin me down physically. Oh. You will feel that, like physical, like somebody pinned you down. The whole drama is just about one and a half minutes, but it was unnerving. It's wow. kind of unnerving. Yeah. And I just stay on the chair where I work, waiting for it to come, to face it, to fight it squarely. But it moves away as fast as it comes, mm. thanks to some uh, interference by pressure from the protecting Eosku's gossip. Then I feel free again. That's very I'm scary. not afraid of all that, but I just also need to feel well in order to do my work. Okay. We understand, Master. We understand. The Maya threatened to take away at least 10% of my personal peace. It's not just that he sent some so-called peace threatener to make trouble for me, but he also make other kinds of trouble. All kinds of small things, big things, and make my dog sick. Mm. Many at the same time, so that I'm really, really... My head is, has to, to really kind of roll around in order to organize all that. It's because all the dogs have to be separated into different rooms from all the healthy dogs, etc., etc. It takes a lot, a lot of work, headaches. He's really punishing me hard, so I have to work as usual, and then have no time to eat, no time to sleep, and no, I have to do all kinds of things like that. Just truly, relentlessly. So 10% of my peace is a lot already, apart from many other things that he does. The Maya, not just 10% peace alone, eh? Yes, yes Master. So this guy is really hateful. I don't blame anybody if they hate him. So I tell you what I can and whenever. Thank you, Master. Yes, thank you, Master. Whatever you need, okay? You don't always have to need to know. What I tell you is very little anyway. It's just like a pint of salt compared to the whole fields of salt making in the whole planet. Yes, I understand, Master. It's not uh, easy to be a Master. You have no idea. I also don't have time to <laughs> tell you everything about that. You don't need to know anyway. No need. It's not all very uh, happy or pleasant or happy ending or good luck and stuff like that. No. If I don't have disciples, no one can touch me. Wow. Okay, not even God Almighty. This is what I meant by no one can touch me. No uh, Maya can touch me. But because of disciple, they do. Yeah, new disciple all the time. Yes, yes Master. And people come in don't always meditate well. They don't meditate. Not all of them meditate well. They come in just to uh, ask for anything, healing or whatever, fortune and stuff like that. That's why when Milarupa studied under Mapa and uh, before he departs from his master, Mapa told him, don't bother to go and save any uh, human. Most of them, they only ask for mundane things. Just go into the mountain somewhere and meditate and practice to liberate yourself, that should be good enough. Don't bother with any human. That's why Milarupa have uh, very little disciples, or no disciples, maybe just followers. He mostly only hide himself in some cave in the mountain, and even have no food, no offering, nothing. He just eat uh, some plant to survive, some plant that survive in such an area like Himalaya. Just eat them to survive, and then he became, he looked green and, and, and grow green hair, just like like the plant that he eats, Nest nettle, I think. Nettle plant. The nettle. nettle plant, yes. yeah. And because these plants, they have uh, hair, you know, green hair, yes. growing, growing around the leaves. So yes. he eats a lot of them. That's the only thing he can find over there nearby, I guess. And it's easy to find in such a cold mountain like uh, Tibet. That's probably the only plant he can find or any other uh, similar. So... Um, so he grow green hair all over his body. His hair also became green. <laughs> <laughs> and then people see him in the cave and they were scared. They ask, are you... And afterwards they come back and see you again and it look like normal, but he looks so green and grow green hair. Are you a real human or you are a ghost? And he said, I'm real human. <laughs> Remember? Yes. If you read those stories, yeah. I read it a long time already. I don't know, 40 years. <laughs> Half a century ago, <laughs> oh God, 
Time passed so quick. <laughs>